Hi and welcome to another video in my Photoshop Essential Skills series. Everything you need to know to get you well and truly started on your journey of discovery with Photoshop. In this video we're going to be exploring the Place command. Now don't forget if you're a fan of the printed page there is a free ebook to accompany the video. Just click on the link in the more section under the video to download it. OK, let's dig in. Now the place command was the way that Photoshop brought assets into Photoshop as smart objects. In a recent update to Photoshop CC the place command was split into two. Here they are. We've got place embedded and place linked. Now splitting the place command into two now enables Photoshop to either embed an asset, if you like the old way, or to link to an asset, which you can call it the new way. Now let's have a look at how that works. Let's start with a plain document. I've got one set up here. It's just a 10 by 8 document at 300 ppi. Now we'll call this our base document. Now if we have a look at this, now if we just have a look at this, this document, my base file, it's a Photoshop file and it's just over 42 megabytes. That's the size of it on the disk. OK, keep that figure in mind. OK, let's try the embed option first. I'm going to go to File and Place Embedded. And then I'm going to navigate to where my image is. And it's this image of a turbine. And if I just hover over, you can see that it's 63.3 megabytes. So it's quite a big file. And if I click on it and then click Place, it'll place it within my base document. If I now double click to set that, you can see if you look over on the thumbnail here, you'll see that there is a smart object little symbol in the corner. OK, let's save that out. So we're going to File and Save As. And I'll save it to a little folder that I've made called Place Embedded Link Results. And we'll call this base file, but this is the embedded version. And we'll save it as a TIFF, save, and then I'll accept the defaults. Just click OK. Right, we have a look at that file now. We'll see that the base file in this folder is 42 megabytes. The base file embedded, the one we've just saved, is a, nearly a whacking, a splendonkerous 179 megabytes. That is huge. Because the whole of this file of the of the turbine is embedded with the previews and everything in the in the TIFF file. Okay, let's just move that out of the way. And we'll get rid of that turbine. And then we'll try the other way. We'll go for File and Place Linked. And again, we'll navigate to the same images file and the same turbine. And I'll click Place. And it's again brought it in. But And if I double click on that, that accepts it. And if you now look at the turbine layer, you'll see it's got a little link icon, not a smart object icon. So this is now linked to the original file. This is just a rasterized version so we can see it, but it isn't an editable one. OK, let's save that out. We'll go to File and Save As. And we'll place it in the Place Embedded Link Results folder, but this one is called Linked. And we'll save that out as well and click OK. Now let's go and have a look and see where we are. Now you see us base file is 42.2 megabytes. Our linked version is 114 megabytes. And our embedded version, because it's got everything embedded in it, is 180 megabytes. Quite a difference, I think you'll agree. Now the benefit of the link file approach is that it will create a vastly reduced file size. Therefore Photoshop should perform more efficiently as it's using much less memory. Of course the only issue is when you want to distribute the files to someone else. The embedded file will contain the reference file, where the link file will not. 
Now for the link file, Photoshop will show a rasterized version of it, but it won't be available to edit. If you would like the other person to edit the link file, then you can choose to package it up. And you can do this from within Photoshop CC. Now if the package uh, menu item is not available, then it's probably because you've not saved out your composite yet. So if you complete a save on this document, then you can use package. And I'll just move that out of the way. And we'll have a look at this. So we can now go to file and package. It's then going to ask me to create a folder. Well, I've got a folder in here that I just put together called package. And I'll click OK. And what it's doing now is saving out all the links and the reference file as well. So I'll click OK for it to do that. And then let's go and navigate to that package folder. So there it is. That's my package folder. It's now got my base file linked folder in it that's created. And it's got the base file and it's got all the links in place as well. So if I email this to somebody, they can actually edit not only the document, but the, but the linked files as well. OK, let's have a look at a little bit of a practical example. I've got four images here and let, it could be 400. Let's say that I want to watermark them with a little watermark image. So I'll just use the first one as an example and we'll go to file and I'll use place embed. And I'll go and I'll select the watermark that I want to use, which is a PSD file. And I'll click place. Now that brings it in quite big. I'll drop that down to say 2%. And then click the link to do it in both axes and then drag that into position and then double click to accept it. So I could save that file out now and it's watermarked. But if I wanted to change that watermark, this watermark is a copy of the watermark that's embedded in this file. Now you can see here we've got the smart object link. If I double click on that, it'll bring up the embedded version of that file. So let's say I want to change it a little bit. Let's go for some text. We'll change this to say, let's change the color. We'll change it to blue and click OK. I'm going to hit the enter key. And now I need to save these changes, but not save as. What I need to do is to go to the file menu and save. This will now save those changes back into my original file. So if I go back to my link and embed now, you'll see that it's changed that text to blue. Now let's have a look at these other files. I've got link embed 2 and I've got 3 and I've got 4. And these are all linked to one version of this file that is uh, in my folder. But the version in this link and embed 1 which has changed to blue, this is the copy of that file that's actually embedded in this image. So it doesn't update anything else but this image. OK, so how can we work cleverer? Well, let me just get rid of that. And what I'll do is I'll do a file and I'll place linked, which is what I've done to all the others. And we'll put this watermark in and we'll place it. And again, we'll do exactly the same. We'll just drop down the size because it's a bit big. And I'll drag it into the corner and I'll accept it. But now I've got a link icon. So this is linked to one version of this PSD file that's on the hard drive, as are all the others. So now, let me just have a look, you see, they're still all black. So if I now double click the link icon, this brings up that link to the version that's on the hard drive. So now let's do the same thing. We'll change this color to say a nice blue color. And I'll accept that. And then we'll save file and save again. I'm saving back to a smart object and save. And now if I go back to me Lincoln embed one, Oops, it's updating all the smart objects. That'll just take a second to do it. Do them all. If I now go back to my link and embed one, you'll see I've now got the blue text. And my link and embed two, I've got blue text. Link and embed three, blue text. Link and embed four, blue text. Because 
each of these files has been linked to one file. So if I change that file, I change it on them all and I can change it from any one. Any one of the links I click from any of the images will change everything. Well, that's it for this video. I do hope you liked it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment under the video or share it with a friend or two. Don't forget to check out the more area under the video for any links to any download files or free ebooks. And please click the subscribe button so when I upload a new video, you are the first to know. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.